No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just jack up and washed. And, and, and never mind. It's it's fine. It's fine. Hi, and it's 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 a big welcome to our show. Once again, we're. It's no good. How am I going to juggle in this? T -t Tight. T Tight. It's a damn good job I don't use trousers. Look, I don't care. Just stre stretch it. Make it bigger. A little more. Okay, that's fine. 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 Okay, stop there. That's enough. Sorry, I I wish I could be more responsive, but 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 I'm feeling kinda down today. Hey, it's not that bad. It's a good thing I'm seeing my shrink later. I know some people knock therapists, but he's really helping me. He, he knows a lot. Um, I don't know if any of you have noticed it, but I have this pro 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 problem about talking about going to the shrink. And now you know I still talk about it, but not nearly as much. Because, see, I, I know that talking incessantly about my shrink is stopping me from having good, good, good rela relation relationships. And even though people find that talking about re re relationships is offensive, it's not nearly as offensive as talking about my shrink. Uh, of course, I guess the best way to stop talking about the shrink is to stop going to the shrink. But the shrink says I'm not ready. He feels I'm making good progress. Funny thing is, though, when I'm talking to the shrink, I, I don't actually talk about the shrink. I talk about re re relationships. And the shrink seems pretty bored. In fact, he's bored until I start talking about our relationship. <laughs> but hey, enough about me. 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 <laughs> would be the heir to the throne if this country wasn't so damn democratic. <laughs> a writer, a television commentator, please welcome Ron Underwear Prancer Reagan! <laughs> Max, what kind of underwear are you wearing tonight? Well, Ron, I'm wearing Stanfield. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show, big fella. Well, I'm tickled to be here, Max. <laughs> <laughs> first off, big boy. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm not going to ask you the obvious first question because mm. I'm sure you get it every day and I think it's cheap, 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 and it's not my style. Cheap isn't your style? Uh-uh. Oh. Okay. Look at these threads, come on. So, here's something right out of left field. How's your dad? <laughs> He's watching at this moment. He's watching at this yeah. moment? He's in the audience? He's, yeah. What's he disguised as? Carefully then? concealed. Carefully concealed. That's what? He's as... an ashtray with legs! <laughs> Does he know about me, and why wasn't he called to welcome my new show? Uh, I was trying to make you feel good, Max. Actually, he's never heard of you. 
hasn't the vaguest idea and probably couldn't care less. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't mean to hurt you or anything. It's... There's a trap door underneath you. <laughs> Sorry if I move the chair just a little And there's thing. 40 man-eating Democrats down there. <laughs> On the same topic, if you could fix Amy Carter up with any of your friends, who would it be and why? Amy Carter. <laughs> Max, Max, do I detect just a, a hint of longing in that question from you? Are, you? are you hankering somewhere beneath the level of the bottom of the screen there? Is something beginning to pulse and throb? Hankering beneath Maybe my a... bottom? <laughs> Are you longing for a soft Georgian accent? Maybe a, a red-headed, sprightly, nubile young girl yourself? I wouldn't right? mind sharing a mint julep or two with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can show him my peanut farm. <laughs> Max, just a word of advice. Her father was the president. He probably still has some connections with the CIA, and uh, I'd watch it. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ron, nice weather we're having. <laughs> How's that for safe? Come on, Ron, let's get down to brass tacks, buddy. What happens if you're in a line at the movies or sitting on the bu bu bus and you happen to overhear some guy cursing out your father or your mother? It's really brutal. How do you respond? And does your response vary according to how large this person is? Uh... No, usually how large their tax liability is. See, the smartest thing to do is just put in a call to the IRS mm -hmm. and, uh... Yeah, you know, you're gonna have them audited going back, oh, 10 years or so. Bingo, fix them right up. Them up. Yeah. Ron, yeah. we assume, mm -hmm. assume, notice how I said assume. Yeah. Some Secret Service people are here tonight. Well, Max, you know, ordinarily, ordinarily, mm. we, don't, we don't talk about that mm. kind of stuff, because, you know, national security and all mm. that. But for you, no. for you, yeah, I'll admit it, they are here. Would you mind pointing them out to us? <laughs> Well, again, Max, it's sort of a breach of uh, protocol or what have you. But, uh, well, for you. For Point you. I think Lighten they're, uh, yeah, Dwayne, Raj, where are you? Here, somewhere over there. Dwayne and Raj? Yeah, yeah, where are they? They're somewhere here. Yeah, if the camera Come on, comes. Mr. Cameraman. Oh, Search yeah, them yeah, up. Yeah, there where they are. are they? Yeah. There, there they are. are. Okay, Ron, how does this actually work? Say well, you want to go to a movie, do you have to ask them if they've seen it? <laughs> well, I, I try and be healthy. Yeah, I, I'm a nice guy. And, uh... Okay, what if you're hungry? Do you ask them if they're in the mood for Italian? What do you do? We, we, we work it out. What do, you, what do you guys feel like tonight? Uh, I think a little sushi tonight would be good. A little sushi? Yeah. Dwayne? Okay. Yeah, sushi, sushi for Dwayne, so I guess we'll sushi go Japanese. Sushi for Dwayne. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. God, what a fruit. <laughs> Look, yeah. confidentially, Ron, between yeah. you, me, and the Berlin Wall, what are, what are your personal feelings about, you know, those funny people who live over there with furry hats and f frostbite? Are we talking uh, East Bloc here? Are we talking the Russians? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you think uh, they're as bad as, like, some people make out? Just between the two of us, Max, they're... They're just like you and me. Well, they're just like me. It's your dad, don't you said that? <laughs> there is a red on top of this bed. Where oh. do you think I heard it? I mean. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir Reagan. Okay. <laughs> Given that your father is the, the, the most powerful man in the world, who could possibly intimidate you? I mean, who could make your palms sweat? Besides me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, sure as hell isn't you, Max, but, uh, uh geez. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Max. I... Are you intimidated by anybody at all? Flipper. Come on, Flipper. <laughs> so, in other words, it's anybody with just a skosh more intelligence. Flipper. <laughs> that guy knows what he's talking about. I have interviewed him, and it's the most difficult interview I've ever done. The guy is an extremely fast swimmer, and the microphone started rusting. <laughs> If you could. That's why they're paying you the medium bucks, Max. I get luncheon vouchers, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, luncheon vouchers. If you could. What room in the White House would you turn into a d d disco? Um, a 
the disco? Uh, well, it would have to be the Situation Room in the mm -hmm. basement. That would mm -hmm. be the most practical. They have the lights already set up. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you could set the controls for kind of a full-on nuclear war and have the, you know, get the SDI lasers and stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, too, right. right. Just get, yeah, get somebody on the overhead lights, flicking them yeah. on and off. Sounds good. Or just get everybody blinking in unison. I think that would be cool. Okay. Ambitions, Ronnie. Yeah? In particular, yours. Films, media, politics, be be bestiality? Hmm? <laughs> The last one wasn't bad, but I think dinner tonight at a good restaurant is about as far as I'm going. Okay, yeah, fancy. It's kind of dull. Quiz is the game for, 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 quiz is
And that's how America began. New faces in a new, new, new land, teaching the Indians the three R's, reading, writing, and running away. And to stop counting with an abacus and beads. Now, of course, Indians go to school, <laughs> but they still don't count. So, 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 I wonder what will happen next. Let's wait and see. That's the end of story time now. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> Okay, you see them every night on a certain other talk show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say a big hello to Mr. Paul, the late night lizard in your lounge at Shea Paul. Case. Max Hedron, you are a total nut. <laughs> Pete Pistachio. <laughs> what else are you doing now apart from the nightly talk show? Um, you mean the David Letterman show? The hmm. David Letterman late night show? Oh, Max? God. The network, the NBC TV David Letterman show, Max? Is that what you mean? Late night with David Letterman, Max? Is that what you mean? doing now? I'm actually, I'm very excited about something. I just produced uh, a record for Miss Darlene Love. I don't know whether anybody here has... Uh, Darlene Love is, uh, was my favorite singer uh, from the early 60s girl group era. She was uh, one of Phil Spector's uh, lead vocalists. She sang lead on He's a Rebel by the Crystals. Mm -hmm. At least they said it was the Crystals. It was really her. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had a lot of hit records out, not all under her own name. She had a group called Bobby Socks and the Blue Jeans. They had a record called Wait Till My Bobby Gets Home. And she's, <laughs> she's getting ready to make a big comeback on Columbia Records, and I was honored to, uh, to be able to produce one song on her. You are one talented guy, but come on, Shape, at heart you are like me, a musician. I'm exactly like you. So yeah. I'm gonna send you to a desert island with one album. There's no record player on the island, but which, which record would you take? Would it be that one? Uh, I'd take that Red Fox Party album, How to Talk to <laughs> That's. What would you take if you if you are coming with me on to that? Probably journey? just a single. I think I'd probably take the theme tune from the Glass Bottom Boat. I'm... Always like Doris Day. Okay, Shafe, okay, you're a music yeah. expert, and you know what? I feel a quiz coming on. Uh oh. It's quiz time. Hit me. Now, yes, we all know there's at least one song about every American town. I have my own about New York, mm -hmm. so I'm going to name a couple of places, and you sing a line about it. Okay? Okay. Number one. Easy one, this. Memphis. Oh, that's simple. Long distance information. Give me Memphis, Tennessee. Ho! Help yeah. me find the party. Try to get in touch with me. All Next. right, 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 right. Easy one. Easy one. The guy's hot. The guy's hot. No getting away from it. No getting away from it. That okay, okay. Number that two. Yeah. Number two. A bit harder. Yeah. Win Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> there is a song about Winslow. Well, I was standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona, got seven <laughs> Three to try to owe me, one to try to something me, and one says she's a friend of mine. Right on, right on, this man is hot! And you know where all this is leading? I, 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 I wouldn't dare to hazard a guess. <laughs> okay. Straight to the piano, that's where. Do a number, maybe, with you and me? Well, hey! Yeah, what a great idea. Oh, okay, I'd love, I, Let's do the show right here. Do Get it? on those keyboards. They're going to join right, me there. Right. I'd love to do a number with a, with a, with a TV monitor. Right? Oh, I do. <laughs> Let's you and me lay down some groovy sounds. Okay. Here we go. I hear you play a little bit, Max. Well, yeah, we've never done this before, have we? No, we, we never have done this before. Okay, so just imagine I'm totally non-musical. Okay. Difficult, I know, but I am. Chicago. And I want to learn a simple rock and roll song. What would you suggest? My first lesson. Go. Uh, let, let, me, uh, let me hit you with uh, the first rock and roll song that I ever learned as a kid, which was 100 Pounds of Clay by Gene McDaniels. Let me play a little of it, and uh, I'll play it. You'll recognize it, and then and, and I'll show you how to play it. It's really very simple. It's just got four chords. 
C, A minor, F, and G. You've heard those chords. And, and, it, and it goes something like this. He took a hundred pounds of clay, and then he said, hey, listen, I'm going to fix this world today, because I know what's missing. Okay, let, okay, let's just start with that much now. Okay, 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 okay. See okay, how okay. you do it. So C, A minor, F, and G. C, A minor, F, and G, no problem. Seth, I got Okay. Sevaga. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Sevaga, Sevaga, Sevaga. Every good boy deserves favor. Every good boy deserves yeah. favor. Every good boy deserves favor. minor. Okay. We're just a, with 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 just a hundred pounds of clay. Very nice. I gotta say though, uh, it sounds a little, uh, a little, uh, a little computerized. Black. It sounds Max. black. No, no, I, I wasn't gonna say black. Kind of so soulful. Sounds a little stiff, Max. It sounds a little stiff. Do you think you could hit it again and just kind of loosen up a little bit, kind of get into a groove, get into a relaxed kind of a groove with it? What do you say? Go ahead, Max. With just a hundred pounds of clay. longer 45 seconds god look up do i have to i feel really ill yeah i felt sick all through the show and right now i just like to lie down i'm sorry but i feel kind of shivery i'm swe 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 sweating i feel like i'm gonna be ill any minute look maybe we could we could just close the show a few seconds earlier okay I just don't feel at all good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Look, if I go on now, I'm gonna embarrass everybody. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let myself down. <sighs> okay, okay. I, I just want you to know, I feel really ter 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 terrible. Hi. Well, that's the end of our show. Hope you enjoyed watching us as much as we enjoyed entertaining you. And I just can't wait for the next time we.
Have I got a show lined up for you? <laughs> On the next original Max Talking Headroom show, Max has a date with Dr. Ruth. Come down, come down, a little bit nearer. Hello, Max. I can't go down on you. Dr. Ruth sweet talks, Max. Max, do you know that you have beautiful eyes? You've touched the circuit in me. I never knew it existed. Dr. Ruth questions, Max. How can you masturbate without hands? I hire people to do it for me. Max gets a surprise. I think I've had a wet dream. There's oil everywhere. <laughs> then. <laughs> Enough head, Max. <laughs> Human jazz band Bobby McFerrin joins sex therapist Dr. Ruth Westheimer on the next original Max Talking Headroom show. Premieres Thursday, September 3rd on Cinemax. Hi, <laughs> it's Sir Evolve. <laughs>